Modet. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in applied statistics uh, at the Department of Network and Data Science uh, at the Central European University in Vienna. I'm a physicist uh, by training. Uh, I then did my um, uh, PhD and postdoc uh, in uh, network science, complex networks. Uh, and then before uh, coming back to academia a year and a half ago, I worked for a few years in the, at the United Nations, uh, first at UNICEF in New York, uh, and then at the World Food Program in Rome. And uh, because of this experience, um, my research uh, in the last few years has focused on food insecurity and more specifically in how we can um, estimate and predict food insecurity indicators uh, using uh, machine learning and uh, data uh, about conflicts, uh, economic shocks and uh, the climate. Of course, food insecurity um, is um, one of the many sources of uh, inequalities and uh, what I would like to, uh, to get from this workshop and to uh, bring to the workshops my uh, knowledge uh, in uh, food insecurity uh, data and modeling and what I would like to, um, to discuss uh, with all the other participants is how we can go from uh, data-driven uh, modeling like purely based on uh, data and statistical methods to uh, the modeling of food insecurity based on uh, a more uh, mechanistic approach and so like trying to uh, find uh, the basic mechanisms and try to model them using a, a more uh, mathematical and physical approach. My work on uh, food insecurity is uh, linked to uh, the Sustainable Development Goal number two, uh, Zero Hunger. And so the idea is that uh, in order to achieve uh, Zero Hunger by 2030, uh, the first thing we need to do uh, is to uh, be able to monitor uh, progress uh, towards this goal and so monitor food insecurity indicators. And whenever primary data is not available to do so, uh, predictive analytics, uh, computational models can help us uh, uh, monitor hunger around the world through uh, secondary data and machine learning models.